So everybody says they believe, right? But you and I know that not everybody believes, right? So everybody says they believe, right? But you and I know that not everybody believes, right? So I'm getting into it. The Christian pull-up. Point number two, I gave you point number one, which says believe. If you believe, you're connected to God. If you believe, you're definitely going to see the move of God. You're definitely going to move with God. And I spoke to you about the number of people that were moving with God because they believed in God. People who experienced the move of God because they believed in God. But we're living in a time of deception where the enemy is working a great deception in the world. So... Look, the truth is, everybody believes. They believe in something. Some believe in the evolution. Some believe in Zeus. Some believe in Wakanda. We all believe in something. So it's not that we are unable to believe. We are all capable to believe. In fact, here's a little story that I read from the Bible about the prodigal son. You know, I've, I, I got a, a different understanding when I read the story of the prodigal son when I read it last year sometime. I went searching for the word prodigal, what it actually meant. And when I checked what it meant, I always thought it meant the rebellious son or the son was mischievous but when i checked for the meaning of prodigal i found that the name prodigal or the word prodigal actually means wasteful it means wasteful so now when i read the story about the prodigal son i had a new understanding of what jesus was talking about see all along i was thinking that this was a metaphoric storytelling of uh, people who were rebelling against God. But when you read the story again with the understanding of wasteful, you start to understand that there were two sons who had an inheritance. It, it might have not, according to tradition, been the time for them to take their inheritance but the truth is they did not steal the inheritance the father gave the inheritance after the son whom we call prodigal asked for it so the problem was not in taking the inheritance and leaving the difference between the two sons is the other took his inheritance, left his father, and went out to the world. And when he was out in the world, he misused what was his. He wasted it. The other didn't even have to ask for it because he was with the father. He had access to it all the time, whatever belonged to the father belonged to him he had it all the time he didn't even have to ask for it he had access to it the other went out and when he was separated from his father he started wasting it using it incorrectly now when i look at that picture with the understanding of what prodigal means now i say this was a wasteful son I see this picture explaining the fate of the human being. See, the human being has certain things that are naturally within him. He's capable of believing. Just like he's capable of worshipping, it is, it is part of his makeup to believe. The fact that when I drive this car, because I know that the steering is meant to make the car move into different directions. I don't even have to 
wonder how it happens within the car's uh, mechanism. I just have to move the steering and I know for sure the car is going to change lanes. It's going to move into a different direction. Even the pedal, no matter how sophisticated the mechanism may be, I don't even have to know how it functions. But I understand that when I press the accelerator, when I put my foot on the accelerator, the car is going to accelerate. It's going to move faster. Definitely, I believe that. Without even knowing how it actually happens, I believe that. Now, it doesn't take being a Christian for you to believe. That is how we become believers. Because we believe. Everybody is capable of believing. Whether somebody is believing in somebody else rather than God, Yahweh, they believe in something. Now, when I speak of believing right, I mean that you believe in God, Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth. The one who was, who is, and is to come from eternity to eternity. The one who created everything, the one who created you. I know some people say, when they say they are atheists, they are unbelievers. That is false. Even an atheist is a believer. If he's not believing in himself, if he's not believing in money, if he's not believing in nature, as some uh, these days predominantly believe that there's some natural forces that create certain things, he's just saying he doesn't believe in a God, but he believes in something. Because the human being by nature is a believer. But when I say that you need to believe right, I'm saying you believe in God. You believe in Christ. You believe in the Holy Spirit. You believe in the word that is preached, that is the gospel. So when I'm saying that if you want to see the move of God, you've got to believe in it. I know a lot of people who say they are believers, but they don't believe in the move of God. And it is not that God is not moving. It is because they do not believe in it. Therefore, they do not expect it. Therefore, they do not ask for it. And therefore, they do not seek it. And therefore, they do not experience it. Because they do not believe in it. So I'm urging you, my brothers and sisters, in this pull-up. You've got to believe right. Each and every person that is, says they are a believer to me, I like to often ask them, what is your statement of faith? What do you believe in? Do you believe in Christ? Because there are a lot of people who say they are believers. They don't even believe in Jesus Christ. They say we believe in God. No, no, no. We believe in God. We don't believe in Jesus Christ. We don't believe Jesus Christ was God. We don't believe he was the son of God. We believe in God. That is the difference. I'm talking about believing in Christ. Because the Bible said, Jesus said, these things you shall do in my name, in Jesus Christ's name. That is where we got the authority as believers, as saints. So the question is, what do you believe in? Do you believe in power? Do you believe in miracles? Look, we all know there's a lot of gimmicks out there. Scripture spoke about it. It does not move us, but we will not stop believing in the resurrection and the power of resurrection. It started with our Lord Jesus. And we believe not just for the resurrection that is to come, but we believe that God has the power to resurrect because he created the human being. He is able to take the spirit back to the flesh. He did it after four days with Lazarus. We have seen many other men of God experience that. It is because they believed in it. Now I'm saying, saints, before you dismiss something, believe what scripture says about it. You've got to believe to what the word says. There's a lot of writers out there. Some are, are, are so confident. Some even say, you know what? We've commented, we've written commentaries on, on every scripture in the Bible. But it does not help if you do not believe what the Bible says. You can interpret anything the way that you interpret. But if scripture says something, stick to what scripture says. Believe in the word of God. Believe in the Holy Spirit. A lot of people have dismissed the Holy Spirit. They're saying they've not experienced 
him speak. They've not experienced a lot of things that he's doing. But they, they, they haven't really believed in him. They've not. They've not believed in him. They've not. A lot of people say they, don't, they have not spoken in tongues, but they don't really even believe in tongues. I'm saying you've got to believe first, but you've got to believe right. Check what you believe. Is it in the scripture? Is it in line with what Jesus said? So, number one, I said believe in my last video. Number two, believe right. Believe in God the Father. Believe in His Son, Jesus Christ, whom He brought. Believe in the Holy Spirit. He is the one we are with today. He's the one Jesus said was to come. He's the one who is our comforter. He's the one who gives revelation. He's the one who reminds us. You've got to believe in him. Believe in resurrection. Believe in tongues. Believe in signs and wonders. The Bible says these things shall follow them who believe. Believe in them. Believe in the demonstration of power. That is what the word of God says. Believe in the word of God. God bless you. Believe right.